What is up guys? Today we're going to take a look at editing photos in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how I edit this particular photo in Lightroom, what I think about presets, how to use presets, and I'm also at the end of the video going to link the preset that we're going to create together so that you guys can download it and then use it and all that stuff. But before we get into the video, you know what we need. Colada. And we're back. So first, um, I'll enjoy this and you guys could just watch. That hit the spot. And now we can start. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into Lightroom. But before that, I wanna talk a little bit about presets, you know. Um, there's a lot of differences when it comes to people using presets or thinking about presets or even selling presets, which is very popular nowadays, you know. A lot of people are selling their presets, you know, get your photos to look like mine, that type of stuff. And I obviously have opinions about it. And my opinion is this, you know, presets are okay, presets are good. Um, just as a base, you know, just as a place that we can start to develop our photos. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not the end all be all. It's not like one click and you're done and that's it. You know, this is my photo. I'm great. Hire me, pay me for, for work. It's, uh, it's a starting point. It's, uh, it'll get you, it'll get your juices flowing when it comes to, to editing a certain file. Um, and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna jump right into Lightroom right here. Um, I've already pre-selected the shot that we're gonna do, which is gonna be this one right here. This is a shot that I took recently with my friend, the Student Racer. And if you don't know the Student Racer, I encourage you guys to go check him out on Instagram at the Student Racer. He's posting insanely cool content, and we work together sometimes. And this just happens to be one of the shots. So back to Lightroom. So we're here in Lightroom. Um, shot has been pre-selected so we're gonna go ahead and click on develop first things first I want to straighten out this shot because it's a little bit crooked and I have a thing about straight horizons so we're gonna go ahead and do that so that looks pretty straight another thing I see right off the bat that I want to do is I want to crop this picture a little bit more now I want to give him more of a presence uh, center stage type of feel so I think that we're gonna crop even so a little bit more, go a little bit more extreme with this and just uh, have him smack in the middle of the shot. I think right about there should be good enough. So yeah, that's it. That's it for straightening out and all that stuff. Now, about presets, all right. So we're gonna go with the classic VSEO presets and I've already taken a look at all these and I've decided that we have to use this one. Um, yeah, this one right here, Porta 800 plus one with a little check mark on it. And by clicking on that, this is not the greatest thing ever. As you can see, this picture still needs a little bit of work and that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so first things first, I want to cool down this image just a slight bit. So we're going to take those blues and bring them down. Right about there seems fine for now. Now, let's play with the tint. Bring it up slightly. Right around plus 15 sounds good. Exposure wise, I think the photo is okay. Contrast wise, for now. It's looking good, so we may come back to that later. Highlights. Um, I think I want to bring these down, all the way down, to get some of the detail back in this whole structure, with, which is the reason why we decided to shoot here in the first place. Um, shadows, I want to bring those up to bring a little detail back up into his suit and the motorcycle and the engine and all that. I think this is a little bit too much maybe we'll bring it down to about 72 looks fine uh, the whites let's bring them down a touch and as you can see the whites are affecting his white shirt here which is getting a blue cast from the sky and all that stuff so we're gonna deal with that in a little bit but just be mindful of these little things that are happening um, around your picture while you edit 
Um, blacks, I think we're gonna leave them right there at plus 25 where the preset was. Clarity, we're gonna pump this up just a tiny bit just to give this this picture some some crunch and some punch. So I think that around 60 something, around 65, I think that should be good. Vibrance of the picture for now, I don't want to touch, and saturation, I don't want to touch. Uh, let's go here to our tone curve, and with this, we'll play with the highlights again. Trying to not clip the whites, as you can see from here. This is why I like to edit with this white border, so that I know where my whites are, I know what white is and what white um, I should be balancing for. So, this is a little trick that I recently picked up and learned, and I use it all the time in my edits. Um, the lights, uh, I think they are good there. I think if we bring them down a little bit, so about 10. It's okay, the darks, we're gonna push them. Actually, we're gonna leave them in zero. They look good. Shadows. And again, this is all playing around with the sliders just to get what you want. Now, the idea behind this photo is that we wanted to get something that was kind of darkish, kind of, and yeah, something dark, something moody, and it was a bright, bright, bright sunny day, beautiful day, no clouds, no nothing, just pure sun blasting. So we have um, to use our creativity and the use of space to create this type of mood and feel that we wanted to go for. So that's why we picked this underpass. Um, and that's why this photo um, is being edited in such a way. Back to light. So back here, I see that we're on a good track. Um, let's go down here to the blues. And we're gonna play with the blues. We're gonna see what happens when you change the color. As you can see, playing with the color affects a lot of the areas of the image that we don't want affected. Like, you know, his suit, his helmet the white shirt that he was wearing and all this stuff. All right, so that's just for us to know what we're dealing with. So what we wanna do here is now um, that we're gonna bring down that luminance so that we can get a lot more punch out of that. And as you can see, it is affecting the shirt quite a bit. It's getting that shirt, as you can see there, like really bad looking. So we don't wanna play or go too far with it. So I would say that, you know, right around there, minus 14. It's good enough so that you can kind of tell it's still a white shirt. Um, and the saturation, we're gonna bring this puppy a little bit down. All right, and now we're getting to the point that I'm seeing what I wanted to see, which is like this whole moody thing. And you know, it looks very clean and very well put together. If you wanna check where we started, we started at about right here, and right now, this is what we're looking at. So, bringing that down to like 50%, the blues did a great job for our picture. So now I wanna jump into the yellows, cause I see yellows everywhere around this picture, like right here, some here in the motorcycle, and you know, this is all reflecting from the sunlight that was happening naturally. So we're gonna go ahead and First of all, bring the yellows down to a more orange tone so that they match with the little um, things that the motorcycle has, like these reflectors over here, the turn signals here, here in the back, so that the yellows that are over here and the underpass kind of match the bike, and the photo has a cool and nice transitional um, color balance. So that's what we're gonna do. We put the yellows back almost, yeah, fully on to 100%. Um, the saturation on it, I think we can bring it down to about 50 or so again. And the luminance, we want to bring it down too so that we can give, that, give this uh, that mood that we're going for. Now, we're pretty close to where we want to be right now. Um, one thing that I like to do with my images to give them that punch is like to pump that sharpening up to about 60% and then mask away until I get just the edges of what I want in, in sharp focus to be in better in better focus. So I do that by holding the alt or option key on your Mac and just sliding this thing up and down until you get it to 
to a point where you want it. Usually for me, it's about in between 80 and 90. So we're gonna leave it at that. Check that, looks uh, pretty good to me. Um, zoom out again. Um, keep going through here. I'm gonna take off the green because I don't want the picture to look grainy. I want it to look clean. So taking all that green that that preset had um, out and playing around with everything that we got left. So right now we're looking at this. I think we can add a little bit more contrast about plus 15 will look nice. I think we could go even heavier with the clarity for this one shot. About 82. Let's see how it looks at 100. Not terrible, but let's dial it down a little bit so that it's not too much. Leave it at 90. Uh, for the vibrance, I think we're looking okay. I think we can take it down to minus 20 to keep that, you know, punchy effect. Um, the white balance, again, we're going to jump back up here. I'm gonna bring the bring this way down just to give it that cool cool look. Um, exposure wise, let's see how it looks. A little bit underexposed, and I think that looks pretty good to me. So minus twenty on the exposure, the contrast we pumped it up, um, and what I want to finish with this image because we're pretty close to where I wanted it to be is this. So what I want to do right now with this image is that um, I see that the light on the image is very balanced, you know, from top to bottom. So what I want to do is that I want to create more interest in the center of the image where the person is actually doing the wheelie. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're back here in Lightroom and as you can see the picture is looking quite good. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the graduated filters. We have it on exposure right now. I think we want a minus 30 on exposure and we're just gonna drag this down just to see how that looks. And that looks okay, but I think we can push it a little bit more. Just notice what's happening here on this upper part of the image. Um, as we bring that down, we wanna bring those highlights a little bit more down, about 50 or so percent. At uh, 52, that's fine. Um, and then bring the blacks a little bit down to about, you know, around 15 or 14. That looks pretty good. Um, let's put that difference a little bit. And we're going to do the same to the bottom of the image, just like so. And now, I think that's a little bit too much in this guy right here. So we're going to bring it down a little bit more. And click on done. And... That's it guys, we've just uh, did a quick little edit for this photo. This is where we started out, and this is where we ended up. I think you would agree that this looks way better. And although we used a preset, we didn't end up with the same um, look as the preset started. We ended up with something completely different. However, we used the preset to our advantage to get to where we wanted to be. And that's what I think about presets. That's how I think presets should be used all the time. Um, not to hate on presets, you know, I can't be a hypocrite. I use them all the time because they get me one step closer to where I want to be. And sometimes they kind of motivate me to go in a certain direction that I wasn't even expecting to take a certain photo to. So thank you guys for joining me in editing this file. Let me know what you think. In the comments below, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss future videos. Like I said, the preset that we created together, I'm going to link that down in the description below so that you guys can uh, download it and use it and do whatever you want with it, tweak it. And if you do, I only ask you to tag me so that I know that you're using it and I can see the results that you get with uh, the preset that we created together. So. With that said, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for drinking coffee with me, and I'll see you guys on the next video.